Hi guys, my name is Jacob Marash from Phoenix Audio Technologies. Uh, today I'd like to show you two setups we got going on in one of our mid-size conference rooms. So if you follow me, let's take a look at the room. Uh, this particular room is a pretty typical mid-size conference room. It's about 22 by 15 feet in size. It'll seat anywhere between 8 and 12 people. For this room, we have two and a half glass walls, but we do have dropped ceilings and wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Other than that, we don't really have any acoustic treatment for this room, so it's pretty standard. As you walk inside, you'll notice that we have two spider speakerphones on our conference room table. For this particular video, I'd ask you to ignore them. We're not going to be using them, and they're going to be disconnected. Uh, what we are going to talk about is our condor unit. So our condor unit is already set up in this device cluster, as you can see, and it is a DSP array microphone. Um, this is the size of it, more or less. You can see it's a little bit closer to me. Um, pretty decent size. Uh, in our device cluster, we have the Condor all the way at the top, and that's where it remains stationary and picks up all the audio from this room. Below, we have our HD USB camera, and then finally, we have our TV or a monitor. Now, to my right, uh, inside of this cabinet, we have a PC tucked away, and this PC is what's going to be running our video conferencing software. It can also be hardware or whatever you guys use for your video conferencing. Now, between the PC and our cluster, we have three cables running. The first cable is an HDMI cable that's going from the PC to our TV, and that is what's transferring our far end's video as well as audio. This audio is going to be played through the TV's own internal speakers. Uh, the next cable we have going is between the camera and the PC, and it's just a USB cable. And then finally, we have one more USB cable, which is going to be connecting our Condor unit with the PC, and that's what's going to be transferring the audio that's inside of this room to our far end. Now, both devices that are running a USB cable, please know that we're running the cables up into the ceiling, then across and back down into the PC. So because of that, we're at about 25 feet, and we're going to be using just a run-of-the-mill, uh, standard, over-the-shelf USB extender. Really, any extender will do, and we're using it on both the camera and the Condor. So now that we have that set up, there's one last connection that we need to make. If you recall earlier, I mentioned that we have the audio coming from the PC to the TV speakers uh, through an HDMI cable. Now, we need that signal for a reference so our Condor can process our echo cancellation and be able to send the PC a clean, processed audio. So what we're going to be doing is plugging one more cable, which is just an optical cable, and it's going to go from our TV's speaker output into the Condor's speaker input, and that's going to be giving our Condor the reference signal, and it's the final connection we'll have to make for this. So once we got that connected, we're set up and ready to go. And the next thing I'd like to do is actually sit down and, and let you guys hear what this room sounds like with the Condor pickup. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So now we officially moved both our audio and video uh, to our own device cluster. So the video is our own HD uh, USB camera. And the audio you're hearing me through right now is the Condor, which is placed right above it. Uh, at this location, I'm sitting in the middle of our conference room table. I would say I'm about 10 feet away from the Condor, and I'm trying to speak in just a regular uh, volume, not, not to uh, increase my voice too much. So this is what it sounds like. Let me walk around real quick so you can get a sense of what the rest of the room will sound like with that one Condor picking up everything. I'll start walking backwards, and I'll stand here all the way at the end of the conference room table, and this is where the furthest person um, from the Condor will be sitting and speaking. And again, trying to keep regular volume in my voice, not to, not to yell or increase it for any, for any reason. Uh, I'll even take it a step further, or a couple steps further, and I'll walk all the way to the end of our conference room, all the way up against the wall. Right now, I'm about 22 to 24 feet away from the Condor, and this is what it sounds like. So I'll finish my walk around, and I'll walk towards you guys again. And again, I'll stop at the 10 foot point, right around the middle of our conference room table and all the way up to the Condor device itself. So I'm going to be out of the picture right now, but the Condor is precisely above my head. This is as close as I can get to it. And I'll start walking backwards again and end up in my original uh, position, which was the middle of the conference room table. So that's about it. That's what this room sounds like with just having one Condor device all the way at the end of the room above the TV. Uh, Please note that these spiders that you see, we're not using them, so I'll just tap them so you can see there's no audio pickup from these devices. And if we had just that solution, it's a complete clutter-free solution. There's no need for wiring, 
who have any kinds of devices on my conference room table, and just a nice, clean, uh, easy solution for a room of this type. So I hope that helped you understand kind of what the pickup is, and uh, that's it for this demonstration. All right, wasn't that great? Now that we heard what the Condor sounds like in this room, uh, there's one last thing I'd like to mention before we move on to the next video, and that's that the Condor is not just our uh, microphone for our video conferencing, it also acts as a telephone. So it's got a built-in SIP telephone, and there's one more connection which I did not mention earlier, and that's just a regular Cat5 Ethernet cable that we plugged from the Condor into our internet, and that allows us to actually dial out calls. Now, not only can we dial out calls using an application that we have running either on a PC or on our iPhones or iPads, uh, we can also use it for video conferencing and a telephone at the same time. And we do something that we call a three-way bridge. So not only can the two parties that I'm talking to hear me, they can also talk to each other even though they're in completely different uh, interfaces. One is going to be in a video conferencing and the other one is going to be in a telephone line. Uh, and that's it in a nutshell. So now that we're done with the Condor, I'd like to do the same thing in our next video, only talk about the spider setup that we got going on in this room. Uh, and I hope you join me for that as well. So thank you very much.